What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the SOE vehicle visor cover. I made the first one of these for a Chevy K5 Blazer I had back around 1990, 1991. Back then those visor cover, those visors were small and they didn't have a lot of tension. Modern day vehicles have a lot of tension and weight that they can hold and they are considerably larger. So when I started building these again, once I was here in Tennessee, maybe 12 years ago, we started producing these again. Um, we had a couple dozen of them out there on friends vehicles and custom stuff like that. When I started producing them again, I built them off my F-250 Super Duty and my Excursion, which have the same size visors. Um, also, my GMC uh, Yukon. So I built them so that they would fit all of those. And then about everything else we've tried to put them on, they fit also. I've got stuff, my Dodge has a bigger visor cover, um, my Toyota truck, everything, it fit, everything fits. If it's a little too large, you can simply take the Velcro. We'll pull these off of here just so we can show you this. If it's a little too large, you can simply fold this under and get a smaller footprint, just like so. If you want to keep all of the Velcro exposed so that you can attach patches on there, you can simply fold under part of the elastic. And it can be, it can be one inch, it can be three inches, it can be four inches or five inches, as much as you see fit, so that it fits your visor the way you want it to fit your visor. What you have here is a flat pocket. It's actually open all the way through here. So should you put big items in here, it will fold up. Or you can fold the items prior and then put them in once it's around the visor cover either way. We've given you elastic slots running this direction. So this is on your visor. This is facing you, whichever, whether you want it forward or backwards, it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll go on pretty much the same. The first ones I did, we just had everything sitting in there. So if you had a pin in there, you would just pull it out towards your forehead. What we found off-road and going down, uh, you know, bumpy trails and, and real off-road stuff, just the jarring of the vehicle, those things would work their way out. So we put everything the other direction and it really holds it in place, as you see on some of these other items. So you put everything in there, it stays right in place where you want it. And then we went back over time and I added some of the other direction elastic in there. And that was so that I could put the arms of my Oakley sunglasses in there. I always wanted to put them, you just automatically take them off your head when you get out and you put them up top and stop and go, especially in the older trucks, the, the leaf sprung front trucks, the K5s and stuff like that. Um, they were just stiffer front suspension and those sunglasses would fall out. And some of those Oakley glasses, they were very expensive and they'd hit the ground and as soon as that glass hit the ground, it would scratch. Even on your M-frames and stuff, it'll do the same stuff, same thing. So I put elastic back in here going the other direction and sole purpose of that elastic was just to hold the arms of your sunglasses, no matter what kind of sunglasses you have. We see guys put all kinds of stuff in them nowadays. These things sit as they sit, they're seven inches wide well, seven inches this way, I guess, and width-wise, they're 18 inches. But as we said, you can fold them under and make them whatever size you want if you have a different size or a smaller visor cover. Now, we get guys that go, hey, I bought your visor cover and it's just too big. It doesn't fit my truck. To that, I say, fold it under a little bit because it fits all of my cars, and I have cars with very, very small visor covers, and they still fit on there. I've got them in my Range Rover. I have them in my Porsches. I have them in every vehicle that I own. We've put them in and they more than work, um, not, just, not just acceptable, they work very well, and they will fit any vehicle we've put them in. So that is our visor cover. When they ship, we ship them out with five pieces of elastic. You don't necessarily have to use five pieces of elastic, that's personal preference. We just kind of put them in here at angles, we put one in the center, and then we give you two more should you want to use them. If you don't want to use them, delete one, use four, use three, whatever meets your preference, whatever meets the shape of your visor cover. And once it's on there, you don't have to use all of this either. You can trim this, that's why we left it raw for you. You can just have a couple inches on each side, or if you find that you do want that much uh, Velcro on there and you want it really locked in place and stable, once that's in place, you can still use the elastic and just go right over the Velcro. Same here, if you have this Velcro right here, once you put your patches on in place, you don't even see any of these. This is also, this, this field here is good for um, our 762 ammo cards. They'll hold pins and batteries. 
Um, Anything else we make this Velcro backed, a lot of guys we see, uh, even in some of my vehicles, I'll put Cat 7s here and just throw another piece of opposing Velcro across just to hold them right in place staged. And then as you see, pepper spray, chem lights, electric chem lights, pens, pencils, flashlights, road flares, uh, folding knives. I, I have a bunch of these Surefire um, Enduros, Enduros, just because they, the price point on them is a little lower. And I just don't, I'm not worried too much about them. I wouldn't put a, you know, a thousand dollar Strider knife in there um, to leave sitting in, in the uh, visor cover. But uh, as you see, and plus you can have it so that when it's down, all your stuff's there. But when your visor flips up, it's concealed, especially in a, a taller truck when you're walking past. That way you don't see all the equipment that's in the visor cover. You just see some patches on your visor cover and some pens and pencils on the other side of it. And then you also have, obviously, inside you can stash other stuff as well. Always amazed when I see photos, just the things guys are putting in them that I didn't think about putting in them. Um, our Velcro-backed mesh pockets will fit on there as well, as will our shotgun cards. We see guys putting pistol mags and stuff in them. Some of my vehicles won't maintain that much weight. Um, some of my newer trucks will hold, you know, 5, 10 pounds in some of those visor covers until they start to flip down. So just use your imagination. Try them out. If you get one, you're going to want another one for the other side. We hear guys saying, you know, my, my wife just wants to access to the mirror. I understand that. That's not going to do that. These are going to cover the mirror, but there are tons of mirrors out there at Bed Bath & Beyond and on Amazon that you can just get that just clip right in there. They've got some little, uh, back in the day, most of you guys probably don't remember, back in the day, a lot of vehicles didn't come with those mirrors. You had to actually clip those onto your visor cover. So you can still find those. Um, in the automotive section at most of your car places, uh, Pep Boys, AutoZone, Walmart, uh, places like that. And you can get a small mirror all the way up to a larger mirror. And you can just clip that right on the back side of there so that you can have all the cool stuff you want. And she can still flip that thing down and still have a mirror access there. Not that every woman in the world that has any makeup in her purse doesn't already have a mirror with her. So SOE visor cover. We do them in all kinds of colors. We do them in different camo patterns. Um, we've got them in different edge tapes. Uh, we're starting to do them in different thread colors. We've never offered that other than custom. So you will see that shortly. We can now do a full multi-cam camo that has multi-cam edge tape, multi-cam cordura, multi-cam elastic, uh, multi-cam elastic, multi-cam Velcro. So the whole thing is multi-cam. And as of, as of, Last Thursday or Friday, we just got multi-cam black elastic in too. So now we can do a full multi-cam black color matched uh, visor cover as well. So check that out. And uh, that's the SOE visor cover.